Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, uh, Project O. Um, Sunday morning, uh, we are in the midst of our last day of our 48-hour group build. Um, but before we get started, um, Andrew has conjured us up. And there is Andrew using his work mat as his um, placemat. And what we got going on here is some... Um, Chilaquiles, um, <laughs> just some breakfast chilaquiles, just some uh, tortillas and eggs. Um, so we thought we'd get it started off right. Um, and uh, we'll come back to you, show you where we're at and show you our progress. And uh, we should be wrapping this bad boy up uh, today. Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to Project Though. Uh, welcome back to our channel. Um, just a quick update on our 48 hour build. Um, I unfortunately I had to work yesterday so I didn't get home till late uh, later than I um, wanted to um, I did work a little bit um, I, I popped in on uh, Brian's stream for a little bit um, and I was kind of kind of beat and worn out worn down a little bit yesterday so um, the time right now is uh, is about 11 o'clock a little bit before 11 um, I did a video a little bit earlier uh, when uh, Andrew was painting a few things. Um, we did get some stuff painted up. So what I got going on right now, um, flip, flip it over and uh, show you guys what uh, what's going on. Um, Andrew, and again, this is most of this is is Andrew's design. Uh, he didn't want to go with a racer. Um, he he picked uh, he chose a number, so he's going to do the uh, number seventy eight. Um, and the black racing stripes uh, he did want to paint it close to box color uh, so we ended up using the Tamiya maroon um, got it painted up uh, painted it up yesterday actually and um, came up pretty pretty good uh, it does have uh, about two coats about two coats of clear uh, gonna go ahead and and smooth it smooth it down a little bit give it a nice little a nice little light sanding just to knock off some of the uh, some of the little um, high lows uh, get it decaled and get it back to uh, final assembly sta um, sta status I guess you would say uh, the engine is pretty much built up that's one of the things that that buddy was painting this morning uh, he does do a pretty good job at detail painting um, again since this is a 48 hour you know build um, we're kind of taking it a little bit faster. I do have to drop on some uh, dash decals for the gauges. Um, and then once uh, once we get it um, to that stage, uh, everything else should, should fall together pretty good. Uh, there's not much to this kit. Uh, that's why we chose this kit. Um, again, the color looks 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 really nice considering you know it was kind of like a mm, very little thought Andrew just kind of wanted to go with uh, with box stuck color but as far as it goes uh, everything else that needs to go in is pretty much either painted or just has to be detail painted um, we do however have uh, some more uh, decal uh, selections a uh, couple of uh, sponsor there wasn't really uh, contingency there is really no set desire for 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 where decals go I'm kind of going off of uh, previous uh, I don't know I guess it would be rally cars maybe uh, little racers uh, small small division so um, that's that's kind of how I'm placing contingency. One change that we did do, and we are going, um, we did change. However, we did change the tires, uh, the tire and wheel package that we had uh, previous. Uh, we were going with a Krager type um, racing wheel, which uh, which is a nice wheel. Um, However, it did have some racing slicks on the back and some uh, kind of street uh, street type tires in the front. Um, however, we have uh, the only thing is that 
uh, they did have the uh, white wall uh, the tires we ch had chosen before was a slick with the uh, blue streak and then the white wall front uh, but since it since it is a racer and after certain research certain amount of of time research uh, I am going with the meaties the all the way around and um, where's the wheel in that wheel right there so just a little bit of uh, a black wash in them uh, should should make them those guys pop uh, as far as uh, the chassis goes it is all put together uh, the engine sits nicely tucked underneath and um, we're on the final stages um, this has actually been pretty fun hanging out with Andrew is always fun um, he makes me laugh uh, the sum of stuff that comes out of his mouth is just hilarious um, and right now he is moved on and is now watching um, Transformers Age of Extinction, I guess. Um, so he'll be back when he comes back. Um, he'll he'll continue on his NASCAR, and he's he's got so much stuff going on. Uh, that's what the that's what his uh, his pad looks like. Didn't finish his breakfast. He's all eager. His his phone is still on the pad, but he's he's moved on for now. Uh, so check us out. Um, hopefully we'll have a final reveal at 8 or before 8. Um, and then we'll pop this guy, we'll pop this guy up on our little, um, on our little shelf. Um, it's getting full. This should be our, well, it will be my fourth, my fourth complete kit this year. So that's more than I've ever put together, I think, before. Um, so look forward to it. For looking forward to it so stand by for some pictures to come and the final reveal thanks a lot for watching these uh updates